let's understand uh, how agile delivery happens now now that we know waterfall delivery happens in sequential way uh, if, it will be better if you understand how agile delivery happens in agile we deliver working software that is valuable to our customers usually in every 2 weeks 2 weeks is a default uh, cycle period for an iteration or sprint we call in agile so in every 2 weeks we make some working software that is valuable to our customers how that is done in agile look at some key important features which are high value features which we have here which will be delivered maybe they can be five features six features or eight features depending on your team size and what they can do we deliver them first in one increment and later we take a bunch of another valuable features to our customers and deliver them like that we deliver in iterative model so that the incremental software development happens and it is delivered to our customer the advantage of this way of delivering is you get business value in terms of the revenues also incrementally as you develop and deliver to your customers if it is a subscription model you can easily make better money based on the features which we develop the advantage of iterative and incremental delivery what we are seeing here is the business value gets delivered from the very beginning of the project so that the amount of money that the company is spending on as a budget cost is recovered early in the life cycle of development also the risk is mitigated because we are continuously delivering and developing the software at the same time and delivering it we are uncovering any risks in terms of our development as well as in with the feedback that what we get from our customers we easily incorporate those feedback items into the development so that innovation in our product development happens also if you look at the visibility into the progress of the project from the very beginning the visibility is always very high means we know what exact requirement we are delivering we are going to deliver in each of these iterations and also we have some commitment that is made at the beginning of each of these iterations so that we are going to deliver the set of features that what we committed for and visibility in terms of the process that is you know used in development visibility into the progress on valuable software development that what we are attempting is very high in agile development this gives us high adaptability to the feedback continuous feedback from our customers high adaptability to product innovation product improvements at the same time process improvement and continuous improvement of the processes people agile mindset and behavior everything can be adapted to improve from there onwards so typical agile way of delivery to just summarize is iterative and incremental approach